Hello, beautiful people. We recently picked up the NVIDIA RTX 2060 Founders Edition to take advantage of upcoming NV Encode features. However, since it can technically play video games, let's compare it against a GTX 980. Not because it's a good comparison, nay, because it was already in the system. First up, we have Superposition, using the high preset at 1920 by 1080 and the 2060 delivers an additional 3,351 points over the GTX 980. 3840 by 2160, the 2060's lead increases by 3,447 points. Next, we have Rise of the Tomb Raider from Feral Interactive using the Vulcan render at 1920 by 1080, and the 2060 manages to deliver an additional 36 frames per second. 3840 by 2160, the 2060 is only able to provide an additional 12 frames per second over the GTX 980. Using Steam Play, Batman Arkham Origins saw a boost from 84 to 126 at 1920 by 1080, difference of 42 frames per second. At 3840 by 2160, the RTX 2060 was only able to deliver 52 frames per second over the GTX 980's 40. At 1080p, F1 2017 saw a marginal boost from 95 frames per second with the GTX 980 to 109 frames per second with the RTX 2060. At 3840 by 2160, the performance goes up from an abysmal 40 frames per second with the GTX 980 to an almost playable 62 for the GTX 2060. Dirt Rally shows a performance delta that's almost within the margin of error, with the GTX 980 delivering 109 frames per second compared to 114 from the RTX 2060. Story changes at 3840 by 2160, with the RTX 2060 delivering 79 frames per second compared to the 56 from the GTX 980. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor shows only a small increase, going from 72 frames per second on the GTX 980 to 89 with the RTX 2060. And it's more the same at 3840 by 2160 with the RTX 2060 delivering 46 frames per second compared to the 32 frames per second from the GTX 980. Deus Ex Mankind Divided shows only a 12 frames per second increase at 1920 by 1080 with the RTX 2060 delivering 56 frames per second to the 980's 44. At 3840 by 2160, the RTX 2060 manages 24 frames per second versus the equally unplayable 15 frames per second produced by the GTX 980. Thus concludes our wholly unscientific benchmark of the NVIDIA RTX 2060 Founders Edition. Was it worth $350? For us, it was a way to get access to the new NV Encode Silicon without having to shell out the $500 needed for a 2070. As for gaming, if you're living that 1080p life and have a 900 series or below, it's a solid upgrade. Just don't expect to RTX anything faster than the speed of smell.